Hey guys, it's Bethany with ABQ Creations here with another tutorial for you. Today I'm going to show you how to crochet this heart stitch. It's a wonderful little stitch and I have a cute little project planned for it in the future, so stay tuned for that. I'm going to be starting off with some foundation double crochet stitches, so if you're unfamiliar with those, go ahead and check out my other tutorial that I'll link to down below and that'll give you um, an understanding of how to work up that stitch at the beginning. Otherwise, if you want to just start with chain stitches, you are more than welcome to do so and the pattern will remain just the same. This stitch is worked up in multiples of 6 plus 7. Grab your supplies and let's get started. I have my 19 foundation double crochet stitches worked up here. So again, if you wanted to just do chains, if you're more familiar with that, you can do that. The nice thing about this is it's a stretchy base and then it's easier to work back through these stitches as opposed to the chain stitches. So we're going to go ahead and get started. If you have 19 stitches though, if you have just have 19 chains, that's fine as well. So what you're going to start off doing is chaining two. So if you did 19 double crochets, you're going to chain two more and then you're going to work into your third chain from your hook. I am going to just continue working throughout um, these stitches. So you're going to start by doing a double crochet in this first stitch. Again, if you're working with chain stitches, then you're going to work into your, start working into your third chain. Okay, then we're going to chain three. We're going to skip the next two stitches and we're going to work a single crochet into the third. We're going to chain three, skip your next two stitches and work a double crochet into the third stitch. We now want to do six double crochets into the next six stitches. And we want to repeat, our pattern is going to end up repeating from the start of that um, first double crochet into here right before these other six double crochets. So that's where your pattern repeat starts for this row. So we're going to now um, chain three. We're going to skip two stitches and we're going to work a single crochet into the third. We want to chain three and we're going to end with a double crochet into the final stitch. So if you have more multiples to work on, then you would just continue that pattern and make sure you end with a double crochet. So that's the first row. For our second row, now there's a couple ways of doing this guys. You can either start off all of your rows with a chainless starting double crochet, or you can do your chain two and then do a double crochet. So either way is fine. I'm just going to quickly show you how to do a chainless starting double crochet just because it makes it look neater and I'll show you the difference. So we're going to yarn over like this. You have to hold on to your yarn and we're going to work into that first stitch. And I have a tutorial on how to do this as well, its own standalone tutorial. So I will link to that if you're not familiar with this. But there, then it's already worked up our first double crochet, so no need to worry about that now. Okay, so for our second row, again, you can just start with a chain two and then do a double crochet into the first stitch. We're going to chain, um, we're going to chain five. One, two, three. And then we want to do a slip stitch into the third chain from our hook. This is actually like a pico stitch, so if you chain, look at it like that, then you're chaining two, doing a pico stitch, and then chain two. And that'll be the point of the top of the heart. Next, we're gonna yarn over, we're gonna do a double crochet. We're gonna skip all of this and do a double crochet into the next, into the top of the next double crochet.
just like so. And this will have a tendency to want to flip up and that's okay when we come back we'll hold it down. But you can already see that's the first heart. So this repeat for this row is going to start right here into this double crochet when you double crochet right here. Okay, so then we're going to go ahead and we're going to do six more double crochets. Now we want to chain five and then we're going to slip stitch again into the third chain from our hook. Chain two and then you're going to continue that pattern all the way across and then you're going to end, see this is where I have my double crochet and my chain two so we're just going to try to eliminate that. So I'm going to do a double crochet into the final stitch. To start with our third row, you're going to notice that this little point is going to want to point up and we'll take care of that here. So I'm going to start with the chainless starting double crochet. Next we're going to work a double crochet into the next two chain stitches. So you can either work, it's easier I found to work through both loops of the first one, but you can try to pull them apart and just work through one. Either way is fine. And then the second one I usually just work into one loop. But you can do whatever your preference is. Now we're going to work into the top of this slip stitch. In order to do that we want to insert our hook here. And we want to make sure that we go through not just this one, but we do want to go through this one as well to kind of close up that gap. So it'll look just like that. And then we're going to finish off our double crochet. Next, you're going to double crochet into the last two chain stitches. Okay, and this is where our repeat is going to start. So we're going to do a double crochet into the next stitch. We're going to chain three. We're going to skip these two stitches and we're going to work a single crochet into the third. Chain three. Skip your next two stitches and do a double crochet. Now here we are again, so we're going to do the same thing we did on the last top. We're going to yarn over and we're going to do a double crochet, but we're going to start that off into this first chain. And that time I got it through just the top one. So again, it's personal preference. And then double crochet in the next chain. Then we're going to while our point is down, we're going to crochet into this slip stitch, but we're going to start here and then go through the second half. Double crochet in the next two chains, uh, chain stitches. And you're going to end your repeat with a double crochet into the top of the final stitch. Now this is how it kind of lays because I did that special um, chainless starting double crochet. So you kind of have to push it like this and then you can enter into the stitch and then just finish off with the double crochet. And you can see that your heart has taken shape. Turn your work. For the fourth row, we're going to start with our chainless double crochet. And 
And then we're going to do seven double crochets. This one counts as our first one though. So we're going to actually do into the next six stitches. Our pattern repeat is going to begin here. We're going to chain five. And into the third chain from our hook, we're going to do a slip stitch. Chain two. Skip all of this and double crochet into the top of the next double crochet. Complete the last six double crochets. Make sure you're counting because you don't want to miss this last stitch. It can be easy to do that if you're used to just doing your double or your chain twos at the beginning. Turn your work. Start off with your chainless double crochet. Chain three, skip the next two stitches and do a single crochet into the third. Chain three, skip the next two stitches and do a double crochet right here. And this is where your repeat is going to start. So this double crochet will be the start of the repeat for this row. Next, we need to double crochet across the top of this. So we're going to hold our point down. We're going to do a double crochet in the first two chain stitches. Just get your hook where you can. Do a double crochet into the top of this slip stitch, working through the stitch like this. Do a double crochet in each of the next two chain stitches. Double crochet into the next stitch, chain three, skip the next two stitches and do a single crochet into the third, chain three, and that's where the repeat will end. You're going to finish your row wherever you're at with a double crochet and continue on the pattern all the way across. And so what you're going to do for this pattern is you're going to repeat rows 2 through 5 as high as you want the pattern to go. So you're not going to repeat that first row, you're going to start with the second row because we're going to finish off the top of this heart and you'll continue it up as high as you would like your pattern to go. Thanks so much for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Let me know in the comment section down below if you did and if there's another stitch you would like to see me do. Um, please stay tuned. I do have a cute little pattern planned for this. I think it's just adorable with the hearts, so I think it'll be another fun project. If you have any other questions or comments, please leave them for me down below. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and press the bell icon to stay up to date on all of these awesome stitch tutorials and pattern tutorials. Thanks guys! Have a wonderful day!